Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Block, and today we're going to be talking about how we can whitelist and blacklist using Datto SaaS Defense. Kicking things off here on the clients page from within Datto SaaS Defense, you're going to be able to set your whitelisting rules by hovering over your account and navigating over to the right hand side and using the configurations tab. On the configurations tab, not only can you see the ability to switch between monitor and prevention mode by using the little toggle here on the right hand side, but you also have some email integrations and links that you can set up for whitelisting and blacklisting. Under the email section, you'll see the different options that we have for whitelisting and blacklisting. We have the ability to permit emails, which would be our whitelisting functionality, or restrict emails, which is going to be our blacklisting functionality. Using the permitted email section, we can click into this and add a rule on the top left-hand side. When we add a rule, we have the ability to specify specific senders, receivers, or subject lines, as well as a combination of any of these three options to create a permitted emails rule, always allowing these emails to bypass Datto SAS defense. We also have the ability to permit emails by from address, return path, or to address. And in these sections, you do have the ability to use a wildcard to whitelist or blacklist an entire domain, such as at datto.com. That functionality is available on the blacklisting functionality as well. Additionally, it is worth pointing out that you have the ability to whitelist specific email headers. This can be used if you're looking to whitelist a specific phishing campaign to ensure that it's not interfered with by SAS Defense by entering a header and value into the sections here to whitelist specific phishing campaigns. In addition to being able to whitelist and blacklist specific emails under the links section, you do have the ability to whitelist and blacklist specific URLs that we never or always want to be allowed through SAS Defense. This will be URLs that appear within the bodies of emails or within the bodies of OneDrive documents or SharePoint files, Teams messages, et cetera. By clicking in here, we can allow a specific URL or even subdomain to be always allowed through SAS Defense or using the restricted option to always be blocked if we recognize that domain coming through Datto SAS Defense. <laughs> 